Hey everybody, I just hit myself in the face. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Claudia. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. I'm so excited to have you. Welcome. As you can see by the title right below there, I have another products I've used up video for you guys. I love watching these videos. I love filming these videos. I feel such a sense of accomplishment. You know, when you've got a bunch of stuff you've used up and you're like, ah, oh, I did it. It's done. You justified spending the money. You feel like you're doing a good job because it's like finished and you can recycle it or get rid of it or whatever. Yeah, I thought I would show you guys what I've used up. I haven't done a video since I'll link it in the cards because I don't know when the last time I did one of these videos is. I find that I like, I don't know, I don't use up stuff very fast so when I do I'm very excited about it. And today I've got a whole box of products so there's a lot to talk about so let's just get started. So the first thing on the top of the box was three Bath and Body Works soaps. This is in the flavors or scents Mary Cookie which is my absolute favorite hand soap scent ever that Bath and Body Works has come out with so I really hope they come out with this at Christmas again. It came out at Christmas last year and I've got cherry champagne toast which is also a really good scent that came out at Christmas or New Year's last year and then watermelon lemonade which was a scent from this summer was fine but like I'm very into the fruity Christmassy I mean I guess it's that time of year so I'm just feeling it but yeah oh and all of these were the foaming hand soap I like those way better than the antibacterial ones I also like feeling like I'm six years old so that's that's that was soap. I've used up an I love juicy shampoo for lush if you guys have been following me for a long time you know that this is one of my my all-time favorite shampoos but recently I've realized it's kind of doing the opposite of what I want it to so I do have really oily skin and an oily scalp fortunately or unfortunately and this is supposed to help having like a really oily scalp and it's just gonna really help clean out your roots and your scalp and your hair how many times am I gonna say scalp I found that it was like cleaning my hair too well if that makes sense and so I would wash it and the next day I would wake up and my hair would look like I haven't washed my hair for like a month because my hair was so so clean that my scalp like had to overproduce oil to like compensate for the cleanliness of the shampoo so I did do a whole blog post on what I'm doing and what shampoos I'm using now from Lush to help kind of get my hair back like to neutral zone I guess so I do love the shampoo it's great to get a really deep clean but I'm now only using it once or twice a week I used up a 60 container of the blemish patrol pads from first aid beauty I also like the blue version but I do love both of them I find they both help combat breakage they both help kind of keep your skin looking really fresh and feeling really good and I really like to use these before I use any of my other skincare after I've washed my face so I highly Highly recommend these guys. I love them. I've got another jar going upstairs. It, they're great. I used up two Unite 7 Second Detangler Conditioner, Leave-In Detangler. I am obsessed with this stuff. I've been obsessed with it for years now. I think I've talked about this in many a favorite videos, but I just find it really helps detangle my long hair. It helps keep it feeling nice and, you know, I don't really know. I've tried other detanglers that don't detangle as well, so this is definitely my favorite, and I'm gonna probably keep using this forever. I used up a La Roche Posay Eau Thermale. No, nope, that's French. I do this every time. The Thermal Spring Water for Sensitive Skin. This is basically just a water skin mist, but it has magic in it. I don't know what it is about this thermal water that's just incredible, but it does wonders. It's, it's amazing. It's my favorite thermal water spray that I've ever used, and I've tried some other ones now that just don't compare so I love this stuff I use it like before my skincare after my skincare I don't use it over makeup I really love it I used up a Benefit Roller Lash Mascara, which is actually the mascara I have on my eyes right now. It's one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I love the packaging. I love the formula. I have nothing but good things to say about it. And like I said, I'm wearing it right now, so I bought another tube. It's a really, really, really great mascara. I used up an Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Ghost, aka Fair Neutral. I love this stuff. I love it for under the eyes. I love it for unblemishes. I love it for everything a concealer is supposed to do. I think it's a great cover it doesn't crease on me. It's got really good pigmentation. I like blending it in with my beauty blender and it's one of my favorite all-time concealers ever. I used up a Secret Paris Romantic Rose Invisible Deodorant. I'm a big fan of the Invisible Secret Deodorants. It's 48 hour protection. I'm not sure who's going with a shower for two days without a shower for two days. I don't know, maybe I've done that, but I don't think I've tested it fully to the 48 hour potential that it has, but I love the scent of this. I love the way it feels on my body. I think it does a really good job at keeping me smelling fresh and like a romantic rose. So what a weird thing to talk about, deodorant. The next thing I used up is a tub of my beloved Nivea Soft Face Body Hands Soft 
cream and if you guys watched my skincare haul from Sephora you know that I am actually going to be kiboshing this little guy it's breaking my heart but it just has lots of ingredients in it that I don't know what they are I don't know how to pronounce them and they just sound like chemicals and I'm not really into putting chemicals onto my skin which in turn is going to sink into my body so it is a great drugstore face cream it's nice and thick and hydrating but I found a replacement for it so if you want to find out what that is go watch my skincare video but yeah I'm using up my other tube on my like elbows and my feet just to not throw it away and feel bad about throwing it away full like it's kind of half full so I'm trying to put it other places of my body that I'm not as concerned about I guess but yeah it's heartbreaking but we are parting ways I used up a bioderma solution micellar water this is actually from France so there's no English on the bottle but it's their just their pink micellar water it's great for removing makeup it's great for like kind of toning the skin this is a total cult favorite and I'm on that bandwagon 100% bioderma actually sent me a couple of these as well so I'm so excited because I have some backups and it's one of my favorite ways to take off eye makeup especially it just does the most amazing job so if you're looking for a good makeup remover water I would recommend the Bioderma pink one I don't like the blue one as much because it has a bit of a funny scent to it so I'm all about the pink one I used up an Urban Decay D slick makeup setting spray this is for oil control as I said earlier in this video I have very oily skin so anything that's going to help combat oil for me is an A plus in my book and I just find this stuff makes my makeup last all freaking day and it just you know when you spray on a finishing spray and it just smells nice and it feels like it just adds that little extra like little bit of I don't know like blurriness to your skin to make it look like perfect this is my holy grail cult favorite makeup setting spray and if you're oily highly recommend it another face spray that I used up that I'm not going to talk about too much is the MAC prep and prime fix plus in the scent coconut last summer they came out with um, their fix plus in four different scents and I bought three of the four scents and I'm still using them up I'm so mad that MAC didn't bring them out again this summer I wish they were permanent because they're incredible yeah this smells like coconut it does the same thing as their normal fix plus so I would use this like after I did all of my skincare just to find like set it all skincare not makeup I don't use these guys to set my makeup because the fix plus has glycerin in it which is gonna make you look more dewy as opposed to the um, charged water which is going to make you look more matte so Mac bring these back they're so good I used up a Batiste dry shampoo in the flavor scent fruity and cheeky cherry I'm obsessed with this dry shampoo I love the way it smells it smells so so good I love that it doesn't leave a really white residue in my hair and I do have pretty dark hair so I'm all about not having a white cast in my hair and I just think it really refreshes my hair nicely so I'm about the Batiste life I used up two Sensodyne toothpaste they are in the flavor whitening plus tartar fighting. I would say that these do a really really good job at helping my teeth not be sensitive. I have really sensitive teeth. I feel like I had sensitive teeth before I had braces and then it just got worse after my braces so I'm a big fan of the Sensodyne toothpaste because I feel like it works better than Pronamel for me anyway. I love the way it tastes so that's important. I used up two face products from Ula Henriksen. These are both long time faves for me. The first one is the Truth Serum Collagen Booster which is the orangey smelling daytime oily kind of thing. I put this on after I wash my face but before my moisturizer, before I put on my makeup and I just think it adds this really nice glow to the skin. It smells delicious. Ula Henriksen can do no wrong in my books and that leads me to the other product from him. This is the Invigorating Night Treatment Overnight Resurfacer which is a game changer. It literally gets rid of acne, bumps, roughness, dryness, anything overnight. Like I kid you not, sometimes I even just use this as like a spot treatment on a really big pimple and it is gone the next morning. So I find that this stuff is just a holy grail product. It's incredible. You put it on after you've washed your face and before your moisturizer and other oils and stuff because it does need to have something over top of it, but it just kind of resurfaces all the cells in your body on your face. It's so, so good. I used up six, yes, six Carmex lip balms. These are my favorite chapsticks in the whole entire world. Obviously, I find that they keep my lips really like moist, I guess, and not dry. It's one of the only chapsticks I found works for me and doesn't dry my lips out. I can't do EOS. There's a lot I can't do and I don't really want to go spend $30 on a lip balm, so... 
Carmex is bae, it is everything. It's what I will be putting on my lips for the rest of my life, probably. <laughs> I used up two Karuna face masks. These are in the flavors, scents, whatever. Clarifying face mask, which is the yellow, yellow one. And then I used the Exfoliating Plus face mask. They are both serum infused cloth face masks. I'm a big, big fan of these guys. I really love the Karuna face mask brand. And I like to put the mask on my face and lie back and watch like TV or Netflix or something and I wait honestly until it like feels like it's dried and has to like peel off from my face because in my opinion what's the point of spending like 12 or 13 dollars on a face mask that you put on for 10 to 15 minutes like are you getting all the benefits you could be no is it gonna hurt you to have a face mask on longer no it's not so keep it on your face as long as you can stand it for because in my opinion I'm gonna be using all the benefits of the $12 face mask that is sitting on my face. And then the last product is another face mask. This is from Lush. This is the Catastrophe Cosmetic Fresh Face Mask and oh my god, this is incredible. It's blueberry based, but it just makes your skin feel and look so good when you're done with it. It is just one of my favorite face masks from Lush. But this one is so good for breakout. It's a cooling, calming, and deep cleansing blueberry mask for sore and troubled skin. So how can you go wrong? It's great. Amazing. Love it. Highly recommend these. Even though you have to keep them in the fridge, just keep it in the fridge. Put it on your face. Can't go wrong. But that is everything I've used up in the last couple months. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up so I know. And while you're down there, I would love if you press the subscribe button. It will alert you to whenever I put up new videos like this one. But yeah, if there's any products you, you've, you've used up, <laughs> that was like a tongue twister, let me know in the comments below so I can check them out and we can chat about them and all the fun stuff. Also in the down bar below is all of my social media links. I would love if you came and followed me on those and we can become friends and chat. But yeah, I think that is everything for this video. I hope you're having a great day whenever you're watching it and I will see you in my next one. Bye! Hey everybody, it's Claudia. I have a what I got for my birthday video. These videos are so highly requested and I personally love